Hello, everybody. I'm Brian Collins, Realtor and Listing Group of California, also Office Technologist here. And today on our Command Tuesday training, I want to go over creating a MailChimp account to put out really nice emails to your sphere of influence. Stay tuned for that. All right, everybody. So now we're going to get into this. I'm going to show you how and what you need to do to create um, awesome campaigns via email and MailChimp, and it's pretty darn easy. Um, there's there's a couple things that you need to do first. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come up here to your settings, and you're going to need to scroll on down until you get to the MailChimp icon here, and then you're probably gonna see it just say connect, connect account. So connect account, hit that button, and then you're going to, it'll open up a thing to create a new MailChimp account. Um, it's pretty simple, just name, email address, I'm assuming phone number. Um, and then what's going to happen is they're going to email you an activation email. You're gonna click on that email, log into MailChimp and you're going to answer all our questions. You're going to put your name, your, you know, all of your information in there. And then once you get done, you'll get to this screen that looks very similar here. Um, your contact, your audience, it'll say zero contacts, that sort of thing. Um, so that's when you can close out this MailChimp thing. And then um, we'll be mostly managing all of our audience members through um, command and then we'll come back into MailChimp to create an email campaign. And there, there's been a lot of talk about the, the limitations that you only have one audience, which I feel like MailChimp has tags, uh, has a tagging system, as you can see right here. Um, I have some tags going here, my sphere, um, current agent, those are from my market center, there's the agents in my market center, so I can email them. Um, the 300 club, that's, those are my past clients, and then um, I have my family in there as well. Um, so, um, I have, with that tagging system, you can create any, any number of, of combination of emails in your MailChimp account on their free account because you get, I think, 5,000 emails per month or, let me see, so you get 10,000 sends and 2,000 contacts. I mean, that is almost more than you would need for, that, that's, that's enough for free and that's, that's great. Um, there's definitely some more options as far as building emails when you get into the paid accounts, but honestly, if you're just looking to send out emails that are nice looking, this is a fantastic way to do it. Um, so here's what you're going to want to do and how I've been doing it in my, in my command system. Um, I have been uploading and adding them to MailChimp via, by the, um, in groups of tags because, I want to be able to tag them inside MailChimp and, you know, the tags don't come across. When you add a contact, if I add Johnny Tester Jr. here um, to my email list, the tags don't come over. So they're not going, you, you have to be able to identify them. So what I like to do is do my filters by a certain group. So again, this, now this means that your, your database has got to be cleaned up. Um, you got to make sure that you don't have any duplicates in there, that sort of thing. Um, I highly recommend you go through your database and go through command and your contacts and tag everybody. Everybody should have a tag. Um, doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what they are, whether they have a past buyer tag that you created or a bot tag, um, that's already a system tag or they're a current buyer. There's a system tag for that already. Um, maybe they're in lending or they're a Facebook lead or, um, they're a Yelp lead, you know, whatever the case may be, everybody should have a tag so you can identify them. And then what you do is you click on your filters and you click on, you know, whatever your, your lead that you might want. Um, so for this situation, for these, I'm just going to use the fake lead tag. So I hit apply there. Now all my fake leads are going to come up and then right here. So I can take all three of these since they're all on the same, the, the same thing, and I can go from here, once you've created and named your, your email list and you've done the whole MailChimp setup, adding, a t adding people to it is very simple. You click add the email list, and then right here, you'll see that my, my audience is called Brian Collins Realtor. So when I come down here, you can see that right here, it says Brian Collins Realtor. Um, I'll click that and hit yes. 
So John Smith here doesn't have an email address, so I don't know if it'll actually upload, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it anyways. I'm gonna click add. Oh, so it doesn't, it only, it only sends two. So uh, 186 and 185, so if I refresh this, most likely it'll be more except that, you know what, I think both of them are already added, so it's actually probably not going to add them. So it does show up very fast. Um, I've, I've noticed that even when I add 50 or 100 you know, contacts, it does add within the next, or it adds within a minute. Um, so you should be able to do that. So now, once they're in there, what I like to do, um, so I would go through here and I would view contacts. Yeah, so <clears throat> you can filter by tags here and you can even find a tag, you can manage tags. You can go in here and I'm just gonna have a, um, create a tag here. So I'm just gonna go fake. I'm gonna hit create. Um, so now I have a fake tag there. So that'll, that'll work out well. So now I can go here and filter by tags. I could filter by fake, but there's, there's not gonna have, nothing is gonna be, nothing's gonna show up. Um, I do have to say that this is uh, kind of a problem that um, MailChimp does have. I find that if you have two, if you select two tags and then take away one, then it will show that there are zero tags. So um, I need to manage my contacts. I wanna view my contacts. I need to take that off there, but I need to find, uh, how do you search? There it is. Current audience, so I'm gonna search for Johnny. Johnny Tester, there he is, okay. So Johnny Tester, and now I'm gonna add a tag here. I'm just gonna add a fake tag so that he's got at least one tag. Okay, so now when I'm looking at and I filter, I can go by fake, and then there's one contact. So let's just say that I wanted to create an awesome email um, to send to all my fake contacts. And go to campaigns, create a campaign, send an email. My campaign is gonna be a fake, um, fake tags. And hit begin. So right here, this is where I can edit my recipients. And it says, my audience is Brian Collins Realtor, which is everybody that I've added to my MailChimp. But right here, I can segment them down by just going with the fake tag. And hit save. My from should already be set, so my subject line is gonna be a fake test with some preview text. Um, when you have, you know, when you look in your email, Typically there's the, the to field or the, you know, the from field, and then they kind of give you a little preview of what the um, email looks like. Well, this, you can edit that. Usually it's just whatever the first few lines of your email is. But if you want it to be more specific, you can use this preview text. So this is a fake email. For fake tags. And I can save that and they give you some stuff in here. Oh, look, it's short and sweet. Emojis are great. Space is limited. So they give you three check marks. Now, if I just kept typing and I was like, okay, I want to, you know, make a, a paragraph, you know, whatever. See, now it's going to be like, nope, keep it short and sweet and the space is limited. So um, they, you know, they, they, they'll kind of guide you on that. And hit save. Now designing the email, this is the easy part. You have um, two options to use that showcase your products or showcase your big news. Um, there's some layouts. And then you have some basic. There's a one column and one column full width. Everything else past this is going to be, except for simple text, um, is going to be an upgrade feature. So I, I typically just use this one column and I, I, I've never, never had any problems with it. I think it looks really nice. And it's gonna kind of give you an idea of what to do here. I'm gonna put my logo, which I pretty much always use. And it's gonna be this, I'm gonna insert it. I like it to be much smaller than what they wanna put it in there. And then this, I'm gonna delete, because I don't need it. Um, so you can drop your contact blocks here. So now if I was gonna maybe put a picture with, I can upload an image, 
And I could even go here, let me see, I'm gonna put in this image here that I just created because my offer was accepted. So I'm gonna hit that, hit insert, offer accepted. And there should be, oh, right here, here's the caption. So So, okay, so there's that. Now I'm thinking, oh, you know what I'd like to do? Maybe I'm gonna send this to all my sellers and uh, maybe I want them to, I want them to uh, find out. So now, when they get this, they're gonna see that my offer was accepted. This is my buyer's offer is accepted. Coincidentally, my seller just accepted an offer on their house too. What's your home worth? And then um, always in here, um, there's some I have to include in here as well. There we go, okay. Even though I'm sending it to a fake email address, I like to make sure that my legal compliance is there. So I'll just hit continue. Now, if that's it, I'm just gonna send my my recip my my one recipient um, all that good stuff. Then that's great. Then I'm gonna hit the send button. And it's gonna say, "Hey, send now." And then I get to high five the little monkey guy, the Mailchimp. Um, and that's pretty much it. So. As long as you're uploading your command contacts um, in groups of tags, you can go into your contacts, into your, your, your audience manager, view contacts, and then you'll, you'll see all of the newest ones added at the top, and then you'll be able to just check, 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 check all of the, um, all of the ones you've just updated, and then you can add a tag to them um, as you upload them. So you're gonna get some that are that are duplicates, that sort of thing. So if you want, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go through and be a little, you know, hands-on and manage manage your contacts that way. And make sure that you have multiple tags if you want. Like some of the people I have here are, you know, two different things. There's fear and their family, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, but I know that, you know, if they're cross-tagged, but I'll know that if I send an email out to just my family, that just my family is gonna get it. But if I send an email out to my sphere then everybody, including my family, is going to get it. So I hope that that was helpful to everybody. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me or text me. Of course, the number's up there on the wall. My email is briancollins at kw.com. Uh, I'd love to talk to you about all this stuff. All right, I will see you guys all later. Bye.